Good. You can take out your mathematics notebook if you want. Come sit here. Got your doubts clear? You have some doubt in chemistry now? No? What happened? Like the secret is the Why Oh, so you guys will be. All spoiled biology. You study only biology. Don't study any other subject because you study physics, chemistry, which subject you like the most? Why, why? What, uh, what enjoyment do you get from this one? Studying my life. Just memorize it. So when that starts, Murli has joined online. Sunshine is there. Who else? Naveen, who is Naveen? Naveen, is there. Naveen, who is Naveen? Sham. So Sham Naveen. Naveen. Okay, I don't know. Have I have I met such this one? No. You know that. So how was your mathematics class yesterday? Hey, I was there online. Achha, what? That's fine, yeah, I, I don't So I told to go home? Call in. Call in now. Actually, I was with this yesterday. You told to start What? 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 They will make it. What happened in the middle? Aliens abducted me and then today they dropped me here again. Is that what happened? You guys think? You can see the screen, right? It's like mango, right? You guys think something. Ah, no, it's fine. Go on. He said, I started from my home and Somehow I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sick, but I, I didn't start this thing on me. And I, actually, I'm really sorry. I should have told her. Like, I am sorry. I said that. Happy? Okay, how about mathematics? What is going on with mathematics? Let me let give you some complex number. Let's start it. What is complex number? You are also sick? Stay away. What, what is going in your Trigonometry. Yes? Same trigonometry. 
your test is over right you are to you did anything in paper did they did it well okay very good sham why is not coming he was there in that previous class yesterday was there in mathematics class but there was no mathematics class no yes chemistry he was there then why in one class you guys are there suddenly some idiots will object to you and take you to some multiverse is that what is happening acha do you know let me think of okay do you know what time is how can you define that you have studied that in physics have you yeah what is time ha sunshine can you tell me what time is anyone can do you want to try it and how do you define time it's undefined that's why you apply like minus and see don't don't you mind my i hope you don't do that what is what is time ha huh, hari and what if something very this is not the first time you are hearing about time Your time, your from the memory you have from the beginning of your time, from the beginning of your time you have heard about time. Six o'clock, seven o'clock. It's just the numbers that we have given. But what exactly time is? Well, the time why we are we cannot go back in time, and why even we cannot go forward in time. Have you thought about that? This is seven. Gravity. This is related with gravity. how okay so just think about time is the word that we have heard everywhere in all physics equation the rate of change right always change in respect to time when we talk about rate we always talk about time without time we don't define physics there's no definition in physics you you have you heard that four fundamental forces of nature gravitational force which one is the strongest strong how strong is that i i really don't like the syllabus of the cbs okay okay so i'm not your physics teacher so i'm not going to listen to but just think about time if you have doubt always you can come outside and ask as i'm telling start mathematics or shall we wait for that No, I don't know. We should. It's our responsibility. Okay. How far we have covered? How far we have covered? Acha. Okay. Identities we have studied. Identity. See problems based on identity. <laughs> you must have solved problems based on identity. Right? You know that's fine. So shall we do some of the problems? Are you comfortable with that? Okay. Where is Aman? Aman also didn't come. you like to have uh, bunk the class how many of you bunk the class all the time no one acha who can prove acha is there much problem everyone okay so sin theta into cos theta sorry It's a very easy problem. Yeah, yeah. Don't have to ask. If sine theta is equal to two cos theta, if sine theta is equal to two cos theta, find the value of t ratio in theta. Find t ratio in theta. T ratio means trigonometric equation. Uh, have I mentioned this or not? <clears throat> It's easy, right? Just fine. Do it fast. Sunshine, what's the answer? Doing. D A B.
T ratio means what? What is T ratio? How many T ratios do you know? What is T ratio? Trigonometric ratio, right? What is it? I know. Huh? And it. Yeah, that, that is also one of the trigonometric T ratios. That means you understood, no? You have to find all values of all cos theta, sin theta, tan theta, cot. Got it? Sin is 2 by root 5, okay. Cos is 1 by root 5, that's it. Tan is 2, okay. Root 5 by 2, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Test portion for the test. Oh, okay. 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 I didn't do that. Nine o'clock, maybe it's nine, nine ten. That's fine. Yeah. Tell me. Cot is on. How much is you got sec? How did how did you derive tan? Right? Sec. See, one thing uh, last class I told you, triangle is not always correct. Because you won't be getting the negative value in triangles. See, you have to use the identity. Right? Identity means what? It is true for all angles, wherever the function is defined. Right? Isn't it? So identity, how, how many identities have we studied last class? Which all identity? Can you tell me name? Yes or no? Tell me. Louder. Go on. See, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Right? So, similarly, tell me what other identities we have studied. Louder, louder. I am not able to do this. 1 plus tan square theta is equal to secant square theta. Use that. You will get the same answer. Find out. See, when, <clears throat> if there are the function is x square is equal to 1. See here. Achha. X square is equal to 1. What is the value of x? Possible value of x? Right? You have 1 plus tan square theta is equal to x square theta. Right? That's how you find the tan. How much you got? 2 you have got tan. 1 plus 4. Isn't it? So this will be sec square theta. So sec theta will be what? Plus or minus square root of 5. Isn't it? Yes or no? See, that's what in triangle, whenever you are drawing the triangle, you want to get the positive. You won't be getting the negative. Okay. See, if x is equal to 1, that doesn't mean x square is equal to plus or minus 1. It's, it's never true. You understood, no? Don't just try to in interchange. Whatever function, how function is defined, you have to follow up with that. Nidhi, you have any doubt? Okay, go on. Hopefully, you guys know this thing. Correct all. Sunshine, DAV, you got the answer. Use trigonometric identity. It's simple. You have used these type of problems in 10th standard, right? You have solved it. It's the easiest version. I just, you were outside, that's why I gave you. Uh, I gave you yeah, in that's, that's the that's different thing. We started from 0 to 19 in terms, right? Only those values we have studied. Okay. So today we will see, we will start with trigonometric functions. 
I know I have been uh, doing, we are, we are doing less problems in class. Just let me finish this trigonometric function and we'll do more of the problems. Okay? Questions we will take more so that, you know, you, you guys should be comfortable in solving these problems. Okay. Let us see trigonometric functions. Okay, so we have six trigonometric functions that we have already seen, right? Now, <clears throat> in this topic, we are going to see the domain and range where, where it is defined, where the function is defined, okay? So trigonometric function first, number one is sine theta, okay? Or we can say this trigonometric function we are going to study or we can write it as f of x is equal to sine theta. Function of x, oh, sorry, not x, function of theta, right? So let me write x. Fine. X. Is that okay? Anybody is having any problem? Any any doubt? See, <clears throat> and this is y is equal to f of x. Y is equal to f of x. How y? What is y? Y is the domain, right? And f of x is the range of this function. Got it? So when we are writing y is equal to f of x, we are just taking y as range. It doesn't mean we will take all the values of y. We'll have to check where the function is defined. Slippy, tired from chemistry? Ah, Hari? No? So we have already seen no, how, to, how to draw the graph of this function. Y is equal to sin x. Can any one of you draw this y is equal to sin x? Right? This tablet has got limited options. See, this is our very good friend x and y, the xy plane. Okay. In xy plane, we are going to define the sine theta. So from 0 to 90, we know, right? With the 0, 0 to 90, the value we already know. So from 0 to 90, this is the curve that we are looking at. This is pi by 2. Right? This is 0. This is pi by 2. Now, what happens beyond this and before this? Angles can be negative or well. Angles can be negative, no? When we are measuring this angle from this side in the clockwise direction, that we say it is a negative angle, right? So, for negative angles, let's draw it for negative. So this is minus pi by 2. When we are measuring, see the left hand side we are measuring in the clockwise direction, right hand side we are measuring in counterclockwise direction. Okay, and of course, please mind this x and this x are not same, by the way. Or is it? It's not the same. See, here we are here x is angle. Okay, here x is angle. All the angles that we are taking this side, this theta. Or here we are saying this, let's say this is capital X and this is small x. So this small x we are plotting. Usually we write it theta. So if you want, I can write theta. Someone call Moscow. Okay, pay attention. Funny. That's it. See, in counter, what is counter problem? Yeah. What is counter problem? Not you, Master. Asking me. What is counter problem direction, sir? Please tell us. Please share your some light up on us. Please even go. What is counter, what is clockwise direction? 
the direction of rotation of clock hand, right? Whether it is a second hand or hour hand or minute hand. That is the clockwise direction. From the uh, clock only, we have decided this direction, counterclockwise. And the opposite is counter, counter means what? Opposite, right? Anti means opposite. That's why we say anti clockwise or counter clockwise. I will study here. Okay. Achha, it's there. So, this we are measuring counter clockwise direction. Let me write counter clockwise direction. Is it correct? Biology? And this is clockwise, right? Anidhi, what is wrong? Ari, what is wrong? What is wrong here? Counterclockwise is positive. See, counterclockwise is always positive direction. So this side is counterclockwise. Okay. And this is clockwise direction. Understood? This side, when we are measuring the left and left side, this is your clockwise direction. The counterclockwise direction, we are measuring the angle. This rotation. Uh -oh. This rotation I'm talking about. See, when we are rotating like this, it is in the positive side. And when when if if we rotate in this direction, it is the negative direction. Okay? Got it? Yes, no, say something. Yeah. Don't want to say anything. So how 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 we are going to move further? See, <clears throat> we are studying, right? We start pi at when theta is equal to pi, that is 180 degree, the value of sign is zero. Okay. So just believe me and let's do it. We are, we are going to find those values. Okay. So this. Okay. This. What happened? Why is it not? Okay. So this is at pi. Similarly, you are, we are going to just make the wave. Sine, sine wave, have you heard of sine wave, cos wave? Have you heard of that in physics? No, not yet. Okay. Again, if you remember, in from zero to pi, in first quadrant as well as in second quadrant, the value of sine is positive. Remember, remember that the value of sine is what? Maybe flipping. Open this. And the value of sine is positive, right? Now see. See, this is the, from 0 to pi by 2. This is your first quadrant, right? From pi by 2 to pi is second quadrant, right? And uh, where, where is third quadrant? Pi to pi to this is the third quadrant, no? So pi, uh, how much is this? 270 degree, not 270 degrees or no? 3 pi by 2, you only set the last class. 3 pi by 2. So from pi to 3 pi by 2, it, the value will be negative. Right. In this quadrant and this quadrant, in, in the third and fourth quadrant, the value of sine is what? Negative. We have seen now where, where all the trigonometric functions are positive or negative. In first quadrant, all the trigonometric functions will be positive. Okay. So let's just draw this. Like this. Okay. And uh, let me write it. Right? I, I, I'll erase it and I'll, I'll write it in other side. Okay, and it will keep repeating. And this value is 2 pi. Okay, now so you see this is your third quadrant and this is your fourth quadrant. Got it? Now, what is the maximum value of sine? 1, right? At 90 degree, we are getting maximum value that is 1. So this is your 1. What is the minimum value, Goshal Babu? Huh? One shout and is doing like uh, I don't want to do this. Uh, 
Ah, no discussion. If you want to discuss, go outside and discuss as much as possible. See, <clears throat> from, see, from pi to 3 pi by 2, it is, it is third quadrant. You're getting this thing, right? Now see, from 0 to minus pi by 2 is which quadrant? Sorry. 0 to minus pi by 2 is which quadrant? Z just z listen, 0 to minus pi by 2 is which quadrant? See, zero, which direction we measure negative side? In the clockwise direction, now 0 to pi minus pi by 2 is which uh, this time, right? This will be fourth quadrant, now. In fourth quadrant, what sign is negative? Can we see sign is negative here? This is the fourth quadrant. Isn't it? Again, it will go to third quadrant and it will keep repeating. Okay, so this point where this will intersect is minus pi. So minus pi and pi. So at, now you see the value of where, which, at which point the value of sign is here. Okay, this is sign. We have till, till now we had studied 0 to pi band. Now we are studying for all real values. Okay, wherever it is defined. So what is the domain of this uh, sign function? See this graph and tell me the domain. Domain of, let's say, let's write out sign x. What is domain of sign x? Anyone? Minus 1 to 1. What is domain? You know how to do it, right? We just need to uh, so zero. You want to do it? Just give it to us. Ashwin, you understood? You understood uh, you un you understand everything, but you don't know anything. Is that what you are saying? Yes or no? Okay. So what is domain of sign? See, domain is for real value function where when we are studying in as x as an independent variable and y as a dependent variable. So x the, all the possible values of x for which the function is defined is your domain, right? So see, uh, x, it can take any value of x. Let's see, uh, wait, we'll see. What, we should not do that? Why? It will break, it will not break. It has happened. <clears throat> Let's stay away from this thing. I don't have that question. Okay, so zero to what we were discussing. Now I'm not going to discuss. See, for all values of x, it is defined. All values of x, this function is there is no break in the function. If you take any value, here also the function is defined, here also the function is defined, here also the function is defined. Every value of x, the function is defined. So the domain of sine theta, sine r uh, x is all real numbers. Got it? Domain is all real numbers. What is the range of this function? What is the range first? Tell me. The range is all possible values of y. Right? See now see in y axis, it, it will take value from minus one to one. Minus one is the least value, and plus one is the maximum value. You see that? The the sine function, the sine function will keep by Y. He's vibrating between minus one and one. So the range is minus one to one. Got it? Gosham? Pakka? Love Okay. So domain and range we have seen on this side. You understood no first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant. Now, where, at what point, if suppose the question is like, Define at which point the value of sine theta or sine x is zero. 
in, in its domain. Domain is what? Real numbers? All real numbers? Now write down the question. Find this happens with me theta for which sine theta is equal to zero. Good. Let's see who can do this. See, sine theta is zero at what point? Can you see here? At this point, at this point, at this point, at this point, everywhere sine theta is zero. Can you see this? How much you got? I think, okay. Let's see. This one I'm doing, next problem you'll be doing. Okay. See, sine theta, uh, sine theta is zero. Let's see the graph. Here. Sine theta, see, these type of problems will be there in your JE exam. Little advanced, but it will start from here. Up. If you know how to draw the graph, if you know uh, to, you know, uh, what? Transformation of graphs. Okay, we will study that. Then you can solve like, you know, 20% of the problems. And 20% is more than enough, and, and enough that you can think of. I'm not saying that for your CBSC, this is how helpful this is, but concept wise, also, this is very helpful. You, you can uh, visualize the function, okay, how it works. You, you can relate this to nature as well. Physics, chemistry, everywhere in biology. You, you tell me where you can relate this in biology okay? after you study that chapter is you know, life cycle. What is that? Life cycle. Life process, life cycle, life process. Oh, you are also having, you, you also are in biology. Huh? So why you look at that? Okay. Sine theta is zero at when theta is equal to zero, pi, two pi, three pi, also minus pi, minus two pi, and so on, right? These are the values where theta will be zero. So you can just simply write theta is equal to n pi if n belongs to integer. For n is any integer, zero. That means theta will get zero. If n is equal to zero, you'll get theta is equal to zero. If n is equal to one, you'll get theta is equal to five. If n is equal to two, two pi. n is equal to three, three pi. Right? So all value of all integers, theta should be equal to n pi. Theta is equal to n pi. Right? Here, the value of what? Okay. See, this was the easier problem. Now do this. Find theta for which sine theta is equal to 1 by 2. Okay, same problem. Okay. I want to go that way. Find all the values of the graph on which I get at one by two. You know this, you know how to do it. It's just how you will formulate it. That, that's the thing. That's, uh, that's what I want you to learn.
See, if I define here theta belongs to 0 to pi by 2, you know the answer, right? If I define this, you know the answer. There is only one value. But I'm saying theta belongs to R, wherever this function is defined. See, you have this. I'll just give you a hint. See here. Where is 1 by 2? Here? Huh? Listen, everyone. See this. 1 by 2 here? You just draw them this way. Where it will intersect the graph? Wherever it will intersect the graph is that point. One is this point. One is this point. After this, it will go up. Again, this point, okay? After this will go up, it will be this point. So how can you define these points? I think quadrant you have understood. No? I'm just erasing quadrant from here, okay? This counterclockwise, clockwise. See, in between 0 to 90, where is the value of theta is, pi by, uh, theta is 1 by 2, sin theta is 1 by 2, 30 degree, that is pi by 6. So this value is how much? Pi by 6? Sorry, pi by 6. No? This is pi by 6. What will be this value? Pi minus pi by 6. Okay. If you remember, last time I told you, when, suppose, when you are drawing this, this is your 30 degree. Fine, see here, Nidhi. This is 30 degree. Now, again, if you extrapolate this value, this here. See here, here the value, whatever the value of sine here it is, the same value of sine in the negative, uh, in negative it will be, right? So, this will be, this will be how much? This is 180. So, 180 plus 30 also will have same value. But we haven't studied, I think, this thing, right? This we haven't studied, I suppose. This we haven't studied. Okay, just uh, take this question as homework and first we'll study how we do that. Okay, take this as homework. We are going to do that next. <clears throat> Shall we see cos the next function? Next trigonometric function. Second one is so sine theta we have already seen. Okay. So y is equal to cos x or cos theta. Cos x I am writing because I am plotting it on xy plane. That's the only here x is the angle. Okay. Do not compare this. This x is different. When we are measuring angle here, suppose this is x and this is y. When we are measuring angle in red, this. Okay. And I'm talking about this x. Okay, this x and this function, the value of function at this point is that y we are talking about. These two are different things. Okay. Now, cos, can anyone tell me how cos will look like? Was the face of cos like anyone? Yeah, Gushal? Tell me. Who can draw this? We have done this in uh, before in class. Huh? Are you, is there in your NCRT as well? Okay, I'm not teaching you beyond that. It's there in the NCRT. I hope. No, it is there. I have studied. It's there in NCRT. I don't know if they have deleted it. I don't know that. Why do they keep doing that? Already the syllabus is too less than NCRT. What's it? <clears throat> See, at zero degree, at zero degree, what's the value of cos theta? One, right? So it was, and at pi by two, what's the value? Zero.
Yeah. Tell me what, what happened. So it will it will something like this. Okay. Okay. I don't like the irritation. It is again the field wave. Other, it just starts from this point, from one. See, sine will start from zero, cos will start from one. That's the only way. If you shift this graph, see, if you shift this one, you just shift it here. Cost. Cost. Uh, or if you draw the axis here, if you draw the axis here, this will be your cost. Got it? That means cos theta is 90 degree ahead of sin theta. That also you can say. You study that in physics. We have waves and thermodynamics. There is a chapter. Hopefully, you will study that. I think in 11th standard only we have waves. Okay, so this is pi by 2 at Pi, the value of cos theta is minus one. Okay, at the zero, it is how much? One. Okay, and this is pi. This is three pi by two. Again, three pi by two, it is zero. Got it? And this is minus pi by two. Again, it will keep going on. It's not like it is going to end. It will keep vibrating between minus one and one. Now, Ashwin, tell me what is the domain of this function? Domain of cos theta or cos x here. Huh? What is domain, Ashwin? What is domain? What is domain? Dude, don't do that. Please don't do that. What is domain? Ari, what is domain? All? What definition of domain? What is domain? That's what I'm asking. Yeah, you're yeah, correct one. Tell me. Louder. The values of x for which y is defined. That's how simply the value of independent variable for which the variable that depends on it is defined. That is your domain. Goshal. Okay, what is the domain of this function? Huh? Just check this, no? The values of x. Here the function is defined, here it is defined, everywhere the function is defined. No? Here the function is this. It's not like the function is disappearing at this point, right? It's not disappearing. The graph is continuous. It is not disappearing everywhere. If the graph is continuous, the function is, the, it is defined for all real numbers. Wherever it is, that's how uh, we define it. So the domain of this function is R. And by the way, continue. <laughs> Continuity, we haven't studied it yet, but uh, in Linus term, what I can say continuity of a function is if you can draw the graph without lifting your pen, that's a continuous graph. Okay? That means the function is continuous. Same is not the case with differentiability. I think you have studied differentiability. Not differentiability, just some part of differentiation of cos, sine, and all, like the uh, algebraic functions and all. Right? D upon dx, you have studied. Okay. Range. Range of cos x. Sunshine, what is the range of cos x? What is the range of cos x? Huh? Will you like don't don't do that? It will break. Minus one to Sir. one. See, he is replying now. <clears throat> minus one to one is the range of this function. Why? Because it is defined from minus one to one. Huh? Beyond which the value of y is not getting away. So y is bounded between minus one and one. Okay. Got it? 
so domain and range we have given now tell me again five i have either i have to kill this tablet or myself you should be like second option is that do that okay uh, fine what what i no no there are plenty of people there. what what are you saying uh, uh so find the value find x this is find pascal find x or yeah find x for which cos x is equal to 0 ha ha all good mosquito she is so into killing mosquitoes living thing ha ha she kill living ah you do that how how why how do you know that i'm resigning from tomorrow i'm coming okay do this x belongs to r ah this do that see the graph you already know the answer see this point is that the point same thing so x will be equal to n pi by 2 that's what you are getting n belongs to i that's what you are saying is this your answer is this correct is this correct Correct. I see no sir. Mm -hmm. Collect. You have collection of friends. Also, right? I see. Have a collection of mosquitoes. Be aware of her. Don't go to her room. Don't meet her alone. From next day onwards, we just can't collect something else. Is this correct? Ah, huh, biology. That's why you should, you know, this is not correct, right? Two, two, k plus one or minus two. Why this is not correct? If if n is equal to two, how much you are getting? Pi, right? At pi, see, at pi, the value is how much? Minus one, right? It's not zero, and you have to find what. See, you have to write this 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 function or this variable. You have to write such that. So, we know the signal. You have to write such that it is always odd, right? Here you can see it's on. See the value uh, at this point is the uh, what zero. At this point is zero. This is also odd. Function uh, odd odd pi, odd down into pi. But if you put n is equal to two here, it will become even, right? You're getting it. That's why you have to write it. X uh, x should be equal to two n plus one pi by two, where n belongs to integer. Is that fine? So this is not correct. understood everyone good 
okay let's see tan x or okay the third function y, uh, y is equal to tan x do any one of you know how to draw tan x do you know do you know do it do it do it those who know it do it Ajay, Sam has also joined. Lokita is again not there, and one more person. Uh, Lokita is not here. Lokita is not here. Okay. And which one? Sakti was there. What happened to her? Okay. Are you understood? Yes, Draw between zero to five. First tan zero. Zero. See your theorem graph. Is it zero? What is tan five by two? Not different, right? Let's do it. So this is y, x. And this is pi by two. So from let's draw from zero to pi by two. So at zero, it is zero, and it will gradually increase. But it is not going to touch this line, right? It it will touch this line at infinity. That's what we call asymptote. Okay, the word is asymptote. That means tangent at infinity. Okay, that means the function is not defined. Got it. Now, what will happen if it's negative side? In the negative side, what will happen? Okay, we haven't studied the uh, how to find it, but let me extrapolate this. Okay? So it will be like this. It's not going to touch again. And this, this from zero uh, minus pi by two to pi by two, you are we are going to repeat the graph. Okay. So the interval, how much is the interval from minus pi by two to pi? Uh, pi by two is from here to here is pi. Again, you will be pi here. So how much will be this? Understood, Nidhi. Got it, right? Now we are just going to take this graph. This control V from here. That you know, right? So from minus pi by two to pi by two, you'll control C, right? And that's what we'll do. So how it will look like? Got it? And it will keep repeating like this from here also. So you should be knowing this from minus pi by two pi by two. After that, so you know how to do it. Everyone got it? Yes. How much is this? What point is this? What point is this? Ashwin? Zero to pi by two. This point is and pi by two. Interval how much are taking? Pi by two is right? How much is this value? By how much is this? Huh? Three pi by two, na? Your why? You, see, two seventy degree is three pi by two. Don't forget this. So this is pi. This is three pi by two. How much is this, Ashwin? 
Ashwin, how much is this point? What is this point? Got it? Now, what is the domain of this function? See, I'm going as slow as possible. We cannot go slower than this. Otherwise, it will be a sin. You understood? It will be a sin to go slower than this. <clears throat> domain of 10x. Goshal. Gosh Babu. This is your first quadrant, this is your second quadrant, this is your third quadrant, this is your fourth quadrant. Again, this will be your fourth quadrant, third quadrant, second quadrant, first quadrant. Like this. This we are going in counterclockwise direction. And this side we are going in clockwise direction. You should be, you know, from graph, you should be, uh, you should able to relate both the graphs that x, y plane and this, the, this x, that, the radian plane. Both you should be able to relate from your side. And the angle plane. Minus pi to pi. Why at pi, um, at 3 pi by 2 it is not defined, at 2 pi it is, it is not defined at 2 pi? See at 2 pi, how, how the graph will look like? It is defined there also, no? Nidhi, what is it? Tell me, what is the domain of this function? 10, 10 x. Hari, all real numbers except, see at this point it is not defined. I know you know this. <clears throat> okay. See, it is defined everywhere except these points. You see, at minus pi by 2, it is tangent at infinity. At pi by 2 also, it is tangent at infinity. These are not touching each other. Again, here, it is not touching. That is pi by 2 again, right? 3 pi by 2, same case. You see this? So, domain is all real numbers except what? Minus. Yes, 2n plus 1 into pi by 2, where n belongs to integers. Right, ah, now, Hari, you tell me what's the range? Nidhi, range. Goshal Babu, Ashwin, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll, you'll drop dead in my class. Hari, how much thinking? DAV? It's waste to ask them. Just five minutes, it will be gone like that. See, it's you for all values of x, see, wherever x is defined, you have the value, right? Y is everywhere. Now you see y is going from minus infinity to plus infinity. You see? Every value is defined. Pi, pi. You see all the values of y. Okay. Okay. If you will touch at infinity, that means it will keep going on. There will be some value just before uh, pi by 2, where before pi by 2, pi will write it as pi by 2 minus. In continuity and differentiability, you will study this thing. So we write it like this. Just a value lesser than pi. Okay, pi by 2. Suppose this, this line is pi by 2. Just the value somewhere like here. Some value here. It will be defined. The function is defined. At pi by 2, it is not. Defined. Right. But, so uh, at, at, suppose at this point, what is the value? Some infinity, some value. Will be. And in the negative side also, it will be defined. Here the value of y is negative. See here. You said zero to infinity and you are rotating your pen. See here the value is not negative or the negative values of y or 
the positive value of y and the other value of y square. So range is ah huh? ah that means all real numbers. Range of the function is all real numbers. Got it? Can anyone draw one upon sin x? That is for second of x. Yeah, for one upon cos x. That is second of x. Cot. Let Let's draw cot first. Y is equal to cot x. Is very much similar to your tan x. Okay. This is very much similar. This is your homework. Okay, do that as homework. Huh? Homework I have given now, but nobody has done it. Show me. Then how can you have so do it from for all real numbers. Okay, this is your homework. X belongs to R. Define it. Write the domain and range. Write domain range plot graph. See if in functions itself you would have done. Abhi to fir you would you will be doing like this. But nobody has done it. Anyway. Fifth one, uh, cosecant of x. Y is equal to cosecant of x or one upon sine x. How do we draw this? First, understand wherever the value, wherever the sine x is equal to zero, there is a function demand. Right? That means if for which you can write sine x must not be equal to zero. If sine x must not be equal to zero, we have found out where sine is equal to zero, right? See, find the value of theta for which sine theta is equal to zero, right? And that is n pi. So n pi, this function is not defined. This function is not defined at n pi, isn't it? So how do we draw this? You just you have the sine function, right? What we will do? Value of cosine. Oh, uh, okay. First, let me tell you how to draw the graph. In this one only. See, you just keep this line as base and break the graph and rotate it. Just, just rotate it like that. Say, see if it is, if it's like this, you just rotate the graph, and you will get your cosecant of x. Do it. So this is uh, sin x, right? This is sin x. We have studied this one. Now what we'll do? We'll just break the graph and we'll be done. Got it? So this red curve it represents cosecant y is equal to cosecant of x. This line is 1 and this is minus 1. Now, what is the domain of this function? Ah, Goshal, domain.
What is domain C here? C here. See the graph. What is domain? Domain is all the value of x always the function of the sign, right? You for now you will understand like this. All the values of x. See, every function is not defined. Now see, this is x is equal to zero. This is pi. This is two pi, right? This is no, sorry. This is three pi by two. This is two pi. Fine. This is this is how much? Okay. We missed it here. So this is how much? Minus pi. This is your minus three pi by two. Fine. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. This is okay. my mistake. My mistake. I got. It. It is completing one wave. Huh? Sorry. See, so this is pi. This is two pi, right? This is three pi. Is it? Is that correct? Okay. Now this is minus two pi. So now see at all values of pi, n pi, or at all n pi, at this pi, it is not defined. At zero, it is not. At two pi, it's not defined. At three pi, also, it is not defined. This and the next one will be down. Okay. At zero, it is not defined. At minus pi, it is not defined. So it is defined for all real numbers except what n pi, where n belongs to all integers. So this is the domain of the second of this. What is the range, Ashwin? Range of cosecant of x. See, we are studying trigonometry, so we have to study trigonometric function. And it will keep uh, when we'll study quadratic equation, we'll be studying, uh, you know, quadratic function. Everything we are going to study, functions will keep repeating itself. Okay. What is the range? What is range, Ashwin? What do you understand by range? Yeah, yeah, say it. It's fine. Louder, a little bit louder. Yeah. What is range? What is range? Not range of this. All the values of y. Yeah. Possible values of y for the function. Yes, correct. Very good. Now tell me the range of this function. In between minus one and one, the function is not defined. See, from here to here, it's not from if zero. If you take x is equal to zero, if you take x is equal to zero, the function is first thing so it is not defined. But uh, again, if you take any value of x, any value of x, you cannot get y is equal to zero. Okay, because you from minus one to zero, you cannot get, and from zero to one also you the minimum value of what is the minimum value of this cosecant of x? What do you mean by minimum value? The lowest value minus infinity, right? So <clears throat> this is defined for all the uh, ranges, all real numbers minus minus one to one. Open bracket or close bracket? Close bracket or open bracket? Maybe close bracket. So, it's not minus one. So, what are you expecting? Close by. Right? Close by. Right? Does not really take a Because you are subtracting what? So, if we put a close bracket here, are we including minus one and one?
So it should be open bracket. Because the value can it can take minus one and one is the value, right? At x is equal to pi by two. At x is equal to pi by two, what is the value of cosecant of x? One, right? Isn't it? At x is equal to uh, minus pi by two, its value is minus one. Okay, that's why we have to use. Okay, the graph is not correct because if you scale it, it is not correct. Obviously, and the value you get, it should touch. Right? Okay, it should come and touch here. Ah, okay, it was not. It should come and touch here. Okay, it should touch this. Line. Got it? That's why open bracket because they are subtracting it. So minus one we have we are taking this yes. minus one as well as one. We are considering. So these and uh, the next one is secant of x, right? So secant of x you can do that by yourself. Okay, hopefully you guys can do this. It's similar, similar to what we have done with the cosecant of x. First, you will draw the cos x and then say ulta ulta to the cos. Okay, and draw it properly. I haven't drawn it properly. I know that you don't have to say it out. I go shall not now. It's homework. Do it again. Do some few things here. At least few things. We'll have an extra class because. Yesterday we missed the class, so not tomorrow, because I think tomorrow you have physics class, right? Two hours of physics class. One and a half hour. So one and a half hour of class. So Friday you guys are free, Saturday. Morning when when Sunday morning you are free. Some dance class, something like that. Huh? Afternoon you are when you guys are free, because we have to compensate that class. Right? You have to finish trigonometry as well. Huh? Next text will your test will become that time you'll say sir you haven't covered it. We have to do a lot of problems. Right? We are just now right now we are studying only the definitions and how to do all these things. Anyway, just pay some <coughs> some attention in your uh, school class also, so so that you can get some questions also, right? And do questions from NCRT and the study material. Ask me doubts. You don't have any doubt at all. I don't know. Any doubt? No. No doubt. Any doubt? No doubt. Do not understand mathematics at all. Is there any problem understanding mathematics? No, what you see is we are very simple. I understand that. But that is some of the boundaries that I have to follow. Okay. Ashwin, you have to study a little bit. We have to go a little fast. Okay, we are going very slow. Let me tell you that they won't be able to finish the syllabus. It will go like this. <clears throat> what I'm saying is, just practice a little bit. Uh, I know we are we have not uh, we are not doing a lot of problems here. I just because trigonometry, you know, you know, you have a lot of theories in trigonometry. You, you have to cover all the theories. Next class, what I'm thinking is doing most of the problems. Okay. And if you have any doubt, you have faced any doubt till now, or if you have uh, any doubt in functions as well, we can do that. You have some doubt. What was that all about? Yeah, those who are online, uh, hopefully Bhaskar will let you know and please come on Sunday. Okay, we'll have a class on Sunday. This Sunday afternoon. Sunday evening. Okay, Monday again you have class in the morning, so you should sleep. So the afternoon is better, right? You'll be all sleepy, you'll just sleep at the finish the class. No Fine, Everything is fine for me. Okay, fine. Thanks, thanks. Thank you a lot. And please do this. Two homeworks are given. Do that. Eh? This is your homework, by the way. So you have to. Have you studied logarithm? I haven't taught you logarithmic functions, right? Not, not complete. 
because see logarithmic function it will take entire four k classes so cover cover each and every point see in chemistry you will be getting logarithmic function in physics also you will be getting logarithmic function you know to calculate the values why we are using logarithmic function there there is see there are astronomical values there are microscopic or nuclear values are there right so those function we compress and expand that's for what for that purpose we use uh, exponential function as well as your logarithmic function We'll study about some periodic functions as well after this. Periodic function, odd even functions. I think I have covered now. Just right? the definitions I have given. Right? What is odd function? I don't know. What is odd function? Don't know. Yes. Ah. Yes, madam. Got it. Good. Okay. Thank you. Tata, bye bye. You may have already left. Thank you, sir. Try to uh, try to come to class on Sunday. Okay, hurry. Sham. Yes, sir. And ask your friends if if they are taking mathematics class, please ask them to come. If not, so it is fine. Okay. Yes, sir. Bye bye. Ah, uh, Ashwin, do you have any doubt so far? You can. Thank you.